Welcome, Stealth Fangers. My name is Stealth Fang, and I'm here today bringing you guys the best settings that I use for my commentary when it comes to recording my voice, for my audio, and what I think you guys should also use or what I'd recommend using. So let's get started. Make sure to like that button if you guys do enjoy, and subscribe if you are also a new viewer. So let's go. Now, the best program I would recommend would be Audacity down here. And I will get, I will put the link down to the description below. But if you do want to head here, so it's sourceforge.net slash project slash audacity. And I'd recommend this setting, this um, program, because it seems to be the best program that I've been using for the last year and a half. And it's really working out well for me. So now let's get started. Right after you finish installing it, make sure to launch it. And when you've launched it, you're going to come up over here. So now you're going to come to the speakers or what your, the output sound, what you're going to be um, hearing. So, I have mine set to speakers and headphones, which is by default. Um, sometimes it might be communication headphones. It only depends if you do have the headphones put in. But I have mine at, mine at speakers and headphones. That's up to you. The quality is up to you. Now, the microphone. I have mine, my Blue Yetis um, put in right now. And the I think normally, if you don't have anything else, the internal mic. The internal mic is like... Um, my laptop would be the laptop's mic, but we're using the Blue Yeti's microphone, which has the best quality, best microphone. I'd recommend getting it if you're if you're starting a channel or if you have enough money to get it. I'd recommend that microphone or the Blue Snowball. They're both good. Anyways, now you want to move on to two stereo input channel. This is best if you want to hear it out of both both ears. And now let's go down to the project rate. Now project rate also depends on the microphone, but also depends on the quality you want to give out. 44100 is CD quality while 48000 is DVD quality and 48000 seems to work best for me. Now depending on some recording softwares um, and when you're recording your audio they might bump it up to 192000. It only depends. I'm using Marilla Saxon to record this right now so if I'm recording the audio on that then it would bump it up to 192000 but I would recommend 44100 or 48000 only because they seem to be the best. So now let's go ahead and start recording. When you're recording, make sure to start at five seconds only because you want to pick up the background noise for noise removal, which I will show in a second. So let's go. Three, two, one. Spec, spec, spectacles. Ice, ice, icicles. Test, test, test one, two. So there you go. Now the first five seconds. Now I'm actually pretty lucky because there was a couple of background noise um, before this when I was testing it out. But I actually got lucky here. So let's hear it. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice, ice, icicles. Test, test, test one two. So now that sounds pretty neat. So now, hold on, let's go ahead and, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and shorten this, but before we shorten it, you want to go and highlight this over here, go to effect, then go to noise remove. Now, I'd recommend copying these settings best down. I think the highest it can go to go up to is 48, the lowest is 0, and four, 24 seems to be the best. You want to keep it at sensitivity is at 0, the frequency smoothing is 150, and the attack decay times 0.15 but if you have any recommended settings you guys can also um, put it in your own settings but for noise reduction I'd recommend 24 make sure to select it at remove and you click OK you click actually hold on hold on whoopsie you click get noise profile this gets the selected area that we just selected then you want to go back to effect noise removal and then click OK so now it takes about two seconds and awesome. So now you're going to go ahead and select the part that you deleted or you can leave it only because if, if you want to sync up your recording along with your audio, then it's fine. But this is just a test. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete that. Now, after you're finished with that, you're going to go ahead and go back to effect and then normalize. These settings are really cool. So you're going to norm first check these two boxes, um, depending on if you've updated audacity, your it might look different, but I'm pretty sure if you up, um, put it to the latest version, you're going to have these two um, checks over here. If they're not checked, make sure to check these and make sure it's negative one decibel and click OK. So good. So it did that. Now the next what thing you're going to do is go to compressor, effect, go back to effect, then compressor, then copy these settings down. I recommend 
for this part over here, between negative 14 decibels and negative 18 decibels, I put it right in the middle and put ne negative 16 decibels. And I'd recommend copying these um, settings over here, down here, and then you click OK. Nice. All right, so next you're going to go to back to effect equalization. This is bass. You want to bring out that bass in your voice or the treble in the treble and bass in your voice. You go bass boost, then you click OK. Nice. And you go back again to equalization, and you're going to go ahead and click treble boost. OK. Nice. Now we're going to go back to effect. We're going to normalize once again, I'm guessing just to even it out. By negative 1 decibel, same settings, click OK. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead, go back to effect. Now hard limiter, make sure to put this at negative four decibels. Negative four decibels works best for me. Then leave everything as the same. Now you click OK. Nice. Then you're gonna go back to effect, then normalize. They click OK. All right, so there you go. So now let's listen to that. Spec, spec, spectacles, ice. Ice, icicles, test, test, test one, two. Now it sounds way better than it did before. Now let's go ahead and just get rid of this. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. Oh, right, actually, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna go to file and you wanna go and it export it to a folder and you get the name. I'm gonna call it Audacity 2. All right, or you can do Audacity 2, but I do that. All right, so you're going to go ahead and save it as a WAV file. WAV files are way better than MP3 files only because I think quality, quality is what matters. So let's go. Now you want to go, I mean, you can, these you can fill out on your own. It's up to you. Uh, I don't normally fill those out. Uh, I don't make music or, you know, record anything. It has to do with vocals, you know, songs. But you click OK. And I think because it was so short, yeah, it's only 10 seconds that it's already exported it and a little screen didn't show up. But yeah, there you go, guys. Let me know if you guys did enjoy that. And I'm going to go ahead and X this out. If you guys did enjoy that, let me know. And if you have any recommended second set, um, some settings, let me know. And that would be really cool. So make sure to hit that like button if you guys did enjoy this tutorial video on my best settings. And also make sure to subscribe if you're a new viewer while you're at it. So until next time. Stuff out.